Now those of us who go to Medina Tayyibah, and even in Medina Tayyibah at the Rosa of Rasul-e Paak, we stand with shaven beards. At the Rosa of Rasul-e Paak, then how can we tell him on the day of Qiyamah, Ya Nabi Alayhi Salatu Wasalam, give us Jami Kawsar. He will say that you didn't even like my face. You thought the beauty of your face was in following the culture of the Yahud and the Mushrikeen and the Nasara. Go to the Quran, go to the Sunnah, find out from Rasul-e Paak, what is pleasing to him. So that at least on the day of Qiyamah we can say what you have heard many, many times. But if it comes to mind, then why should we let it go? Tere mehboob ki ya rab shabahat le ke aya hoon Tere mehboob ki ya rab shabahat le ke aya hoon Haqiqat is kutu kar de me surat le ke aya hoon What else can I bring ya Rasulullah sir? Except the surat, the outward form. But if we don't even have the outward form, then how can we be recognized as believers in Allah and His Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam? It's not an ordinary thing. A person who commits some certain sins, he makes sincere toba. Allah wa Taala forgives that person. Only He knows and Allah Taala knows. But regarding the beard, if a person is shaving, then it is like a sin which is announcing all the time, 24 hours of the day. That I don't care for what Rasul Epaas has said with regards to this beard. If Allah Ta'ala had willed, then he should have made the men folk also beardless. But again I repeat, that do not think that because we have got beards, we are superior to anyone. Allah Ta'ala only knows what is in the heart of a person. And if Allah Ta'ala wants to forgive a person, he finds excuses to forgive. But when it comes to worldly ahkam, then we will deal with whatever is apparent. If a person says, it's in my heart, we will say, might be in your heart. But we want to see what is apparent. In this world we are living, we will see what is apparent.